want to learn how to make this corkscrew spiral knot, stay tuned to find out how. and welcome to Butch Not Macrame. In this tutorial, I am super excited to be sharing with you a corkscrew spiral knot. You may be surprised to learn that this knot is actually a well-known spiral knot that we already know, known as the half hitch spiral. It is made almost exactly the same, with the only difference being that the half hitch knots we're making in this pattern is a little bit looser. So instead of tightening the half hitch knots as we do with a lot of knot patterns, we are just letting the half hitch knots sit loose onto the anchor cord. By making these half hitch knots looser, it becomes almost like an entirely different pattern with a corkscrew looking spiral. You may see variations of this corkscrew spiral pattern elsewhere, but I've tried to simplify it so that you can make it mounted onto an object. Since a lot of modern macrame projects we make are usually wall hangings and plant hangers, and we want to start off by mounting cords onto either a dowel or ring. This is such a unique, fun, and textured knot pattern that I hope you will enjoy making and learning. If you guys are interested in learning more knots with me, I do have a free downloadable 50 Knots and Senates ebook over on bochinot.com. The key to finding your own style or designing your own macrame is knowing a lot of knots. This is definitely a handy guide you would want with you on your macrame journey. So if you're interested, check out bochina.com for more details. And with that said, let's get right into it. To make a corkscrew spiral at about 13 inches in length, we're going to take a long strand of cord at 450 centimeters long, and we're going to measure down to the 17 inch mark or 45 centimeters. Hold that spot and then we're going to fold the cord over for a loop and then ensuring that the short end is on the right side and the long end is on the left side, we're going to attach this onto a dowel with a lark's head knot. Now because the left cord end is very long to work with, we're just going to wrap it in a small bundle so that we have shorter cord lengths to work with. And then as you continue making the knots, you can release more cords from the bundle. Now to start the corkscrew spiral, we're going to take the long cord on the left, we're going to make a loose half hitch knot onto the right anchor cord. So the right cord is always going to be the anchor cord, that's why it's much shorter. And then we're just going to make consecutive loose half hitch knots one after the other on the same side. So as you can see, I'm not pulling on the working cord super tight. I'm giving it some extra space by keeping it a little loose. Continue this pattern all the way downwards. Once you have made these loose half hitch knots all the way to the bottom, flatten them out first and then pull on the anchor cord to push the knots together. 
then you may need to manually turn the knots so that they form a nice spiral. Now continue downwards repeating the same pattern again. Once complete, this is what the spiral should look like. You should have a spiral that resembles a corkscrew. That concludes our corkscrew spiral knot pattern. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're interested in knot patterns like this that are textured, that are unique, we are going over that in more detail over on the Boji Knot Macrame community on Patreon. And in this month, we are going over everything textures related. So if you're interested in finding out more, you can head on over to patreon.com slash for more details. I really hope you guys had fun with this one. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.